In this video, traders are going to look at core spreads. Are they any good? Stay tuned. Hey guys, warm well welcome to you. All right, so full transparency, core spreads sponsoring the channel and they're also sponsoring this video. However, that being said, we're going to look at the facts with core spreads and so you can make an objective decision whether you want to check them out or not. And stick out to the, stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to give you my opinion on whether you even need to look for another broker or not. Because listen, we're all traders here. We might not necessarily want to switch, but then we might be missing something if we don't. So we'll see which category you fit into and we can kind of look at things objectively and go right. Is it worth looking at? Is it not? Because sometimes it's just not. So core spreads, basically they're offering CFD and spread bet. They're in the UK and they're in Australia. So most of the time, guys, if you're in the UK, you're probably gonna want to spread bet. There's a few circumstances, perhaps that you won't, but generally speaking, that's what you wanna do. We're gonna look at this, some of the spreads that they've got later on. Now they've got two platforms. They've got their Core Trader 2 platform, which is where they have fixed spreads and they're pretty tight, we'll look at those. And they have the MT4 platform, which is CFD only, and it doesn't offer the same amount of markets. However, you are trading at the interbank rate and they're running commission. So it's a slightly different model for them. So rather than them making the money on the spread as they would do if you're trading through Core Trader, they're making the money on the commission. So what's important to you is you look at which market you trade. So if you trade a specific currency pair and you want to trade MT4, go and check them out. By the way, there's a link in the description below to check them out, check them out and see what's going on and see if they suit you. But you go and check out and see what markets are offered on MT4, if the currency pair you want is offered, and then kind of work out, okay, well, how much would it cost me if I was doing the trades that I was doing perhaps last month or last quarter or last few weeks or whatever it was, and compare it. And it's the same with the Core Spreads uh, Trader 2 platform. The Core Trader 2 platform is you're doing the same thing. We'll look at that in a second and see whether it's worthwhile looking at, but the the important thing is, is looking at, okay, what you don't want to do is move and then find the market's not available. So you've got to do some due diligence, guys, because moving broker, I get it. You know, it's something that we need to take seriously. It's nice to have a secondary broker, and I've always said that in videos. Listen, have, have a couple of brokers open so that you've got an emergency to go to. If something happens with one broker, they go down, the platform struggles. There's all sorts of reasons why. So there is a reason to have a secondary broker just sitting there, even if it's funded with a little bit, at least you can add funds into it quickly and get do what you need to do if you need to. But moving primary brokers is a bit of a, a decision to make. And generally it comes down to cost of trading and features offered. So the first thing you're looking at is do they trade the market that I want? So if you're trading specifically a currency pair and you have to trade it through MT4 or you don't mind trading it through another platform, then you look at that, you do your due, dil due diligence on that. Then the other thing you do is you look and see how much that costs to trade. So first things first, do they offer it? Second thing is on the platform I want or need. Do I even need MT4? Personally, I don't need MT4, you may do. Then you go, right, well, how much does it cost to trade it compared to my broker I've got at the moment? All right, well, it's slightly cheaper. Well, that then makes it worthwhile investigating because you might find over the long run, you're saving significant amount of money when you're already doing your analysis on a separate charting platform and you're using this to execute or whatever it may be. Or if you're trading MT4, you're doing exactly the same thing. You don't even see what's happening at the back end. You're still trading. So that's really the process you're going through. And we'll have a look at that uh, in terms of spreads in a moment as well later on. The other thing as well, guys, is you've got to make sure the broker is trading, uh, offers the market you want. But the main thing, which I've kind of glossed over, but it's got to be regulated. Core spreads are regulated. You've got the FC or FSCS protection, should I say, uh, which means that the money obviously is segregated. Don't even entertain any broker that's not regulated, regardless of how attractive the spreads are. And these are attractive spreads. So you must be always looking at regulated. Core spreads are regulated. All right, the UK and Australia, we talked about that. Fixed spreads, so if you're trading on their Core Trader 2 platform, the spreads are always fixed. So they're not gonna start widening out or, or changing around when things are, market conditions are changing. They are what they are, they're fixed, it's how you trade it. Now, if you trade on MT4, interbank rate's gonna be move up kind of very slightly, isn't it, depending on the market conditions, time, and that kind of stuff. But your commissions will be fixed. So that's something to bear in mind. Um, thousands of markets, so again, choose and have a look and see the markets that you trade and make sure they offer the markets you want. Pretty sure they would do uh, with thousands of markets on there. Uh, 50 
50 pence per point is the minimum uh, on the FTSE, which is really good because it means you can scale into positions. You know, if you've got a higher, some people are two pound a point, uh, which if you were a, a kind of beginner trader, it's too much, right? It's too much. So if you're trading something like the Dow moves two or 300 points in a day, you don't want that kind of risk. 50p a point allows you to dial down the risk and allows you to potentially scale in. So if you're doing a pound a point, say, and you're just kind of getting going and learning the markets, you can have a couple of scales into the trade or out of the trade. So that's important, I think. Uh, regulated, etc. right. So the other thing to note, guys, the MT4 platform is some of the markets aren't available that they are on the Core Trader 2 platform. You don't get guaranteed stops. We'll look at some of the stops and all as they uh, offer in a moment. And it's variable spreads, which we've talked about. So it's interbank rate plus a commission. But it's nice that it's offered. And I know MT4 is important to a lot of traders. Um, but most people are probably going to trade on the core Trader 2 platform, especially if you're trading the indices, uh, if you're kind of dabbling in Forex from time to time, and maybe you're doing your analysis on other charts, but they do offer charts as well uh, within their platform, which I've had a look at and they're adequate. They've got some indicators on there. They've got some functionality. You can pop them out into another tab. So they are what they are and you can use that quite effectively. Uh, they've got a mobile app. We'll look at the spreads in a second. They've got a mobile app, handy. Uh, and we'll look at orders in a second. So spreads at the time of doing this video are, they are fixed. Okay, and this is in market hours, after market hours. They do vary, they might change a little bit. I know I looked and the Dow was one point in, in market hours, but it only went to two points uh, just before the market opened now, and it not checked it at three o'clock in the morning, maybe it's a little bit wider. So again, a little bit of due diligence, work out exactly when you trade. If you've got a strategy that trades at two o'clock in the morning on the Dow, then the spread at that time is what's key to you. If you're a day trader of the Dow and you trade intraday, then this is the spread that's important to you. If you day trade DAX, this is the spread that's important to you. So FTSE 0.8, DAX 1 point, Dow 1 point, crude all three points, uh, which is decent. And then we've got Euro US dollar at 0 0.6 points or pips. Uh, GBP USD at 0 0.8, pretty, pretty good as well. Uh, so the way you need to look at this is like, okay, you can say, well, do I need to change brokers? Uh, you need to look and say, right, what do I trade the most commonly? What's my most common trade? So go right on DAX and Dow. Okay, how much am I paying at the moment? When well, I'm paying 1.4, I'm paying 1.5 on the Dow. Right, well, how many trades am I doing? Well, I'm doing you know, three a day or five a week or 10 a week or two a week, or whatever it is. Okay, my position size, well, I'm doing X pounds per point. Right, so how much in spreads have I paid? Okay, if I was to switch to another broker, i.e. core spreads, with that, how much would I save? Well, actually, I'd save myself 800 quid a week or 800 quid a month or 200 quid a month or, or whatever it is. And then you can go, right, well, now it's worth me considering and looking further. When it's not worth considering, guys, and this, I'm just being honest because I'm a trader here, is if the spreads are the same, if everything is the same and you're happy with your broker, then there's no need to move. Have a secondary broker, by all means have an account with other brokers that I can say is an emergency usage thing, but to move your whole primary broker over, I'm not gonna stand here and say, yes, you've got to all move over to this different broker. It doesn't make any sense. So look at the spreads, see if you save money. If you're not happy with your current broker, again, it's worth looking, description in the link, uh, link in the description below, check it out. But the spreads is the key offer, if you like, from Core Spreads. They put their uh, kind of pitch out there and said, hey, we offer tight fixed spreads. They don't have any uh, bells and whistles on the platform, so to speak, functional enough. And we'll look at the orders in a second. Functional enough and has some good functionality, but if you want tight spreads and you want to just save money, then it's worth looking at. But like I say, make sure, go and check out what you trade, how much you can save, and then do your due diligence. But if you're completely happy with your broker, then you don't want to move your funds over. I never recommend kind of upsetting things for the sake of it, but maybe you want to check it out and have it as an account that just sits there. You can use an emergency. One final thing, guys, is the stops was hedging. They've got normal stops, trailing stops, which is decent, and they've also got guaranteed stops. So if you're trading, trading stuff that you think could gap heavily against you, then you want to use that guaranteed stop, and there's a premium for that. Hedging button. Hedging button, I've done a video on this specifically. Go and check that out. But in, in theory, 
or in a nutshell if you like, it allows you to trade the same instrument in different directions. So why would you do that? So example, we might be long DAX on a longer time frame, or let's, let's use Euro US dollar, long Euro US dollar on a longer time frame, but you might wanna go short and take advantage of a little bit of downside move over a couple of days. So normally you'd have to close the position then go back into it. With the hedging button, it doesn't net off your position. So you might have a net long of say 10 pounds a point. You might go short 10 pounds a point. Normally that would make you zero and have no exposure. With the hedging button ticked, that then keeps that short trade open. Let's say you close that 50, 60 points, bang, then your long is still going. You haven't touched that at all. So it allows you to separate things into time frames, into strategies, into different things you're trading one specific instrument. So a nice little tool for that if that's something that you do in terms of your trading strategy and trading approach. Anyway guys, that is Core cool. Spreads. Any good, I think you should check them out. A link is in the description below and I shall see you in the next video guys. Take care, bye bye.